What's up, it's your boy Jay Pelly, and uh, today's video we're gonna talk about how to use this Thinkorswim app. A lot of people asking me, um, or a lot of people that are confused on how to use the app have been uh, messaging me on my Discord, on Instagram, about, you know, how do we get, how do we navigate around this app? Um, Cause it's confusing. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to use the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim app. So let's get into it. To the Thinkorswim trading app by TD Ameritrade. So this is, I'm gonna be using this on the iPhone right now. Um, and once you set up your account at TD Ameritrade, you can go ahead and uh, download the Thinkorswim app um, and get up and run it. So this is how it looks when you get right in. Obviously your watch list is gonna be a little different than mine. Um, this is just all the stuff I've added over time. I'm not literally watching all of these uh, <laughs> plays every single day. These are this is just what's on my watch list, all right? So first to create a watch list um this is we'll just go from left to right right so we have watch list at the bottom positions orders alerts and uh more okay so that's how you you know go into your settings or switch your account if you have multiple accounts right and uh yeah i'm actually doing this on my live account so you'll probably see some positions here or there um but that's besides the point and uh yeah, let's get into how to use the app. So how do you use this thing? So once you set up your account, you'll just go ahead, put your info, log in. Um, I'm sure you can figure that part out on your own, but it gets a little confusing maybe um, once you're actually in the app. So let's break it down. First thing we got is the watch list, all right? So to create a watch list and you know put whatever you're looking to trade um, on this screen so you could see it all, nice and clean in one place um, you just create a watch list all right so you go top left um, top left says watch list do that mine I made it say Jay's watch list um, and then there you go create new watch list uh, YouTube right and then to add a symbol you'll just type it in here we'll go to Apple for example and then you click the green plus on the left right click the green plus now you got apple on your watch list all right and then it'll pop up here so i'm gonna go and switch back to my watch list because that's what i like i like looking at the futures um so we have the s p futures we got the nasdaq um we got crude oil we got the dollar and then some stocks some currencies and it's all nice and neat on here so that's the watch list part. Um, and then if you wanna you know, check out the chart on one of these, you just simply click on one of them, right? So we're clicking on ES. Um, I actually have a position overnight. That's what this minus one is down there. Um, so we'll see how that goes when the market opens up in uh, about six or, yeah, six hours right now. It's 11.52, market opens at six Eastern, um, but yeah. You'll see your trades pop up um, on your chart once you take them like that. It says negative one. That means I'm short one contract at 3,003 3 and a quarter. Um, so that means I want the market to go down. We'll see. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out the charts on these, you just simply click one and then uh, it'll pull up the chart like this. Um, what else? So top left, you see it says four days, five minutes. Um, you could edit, you know, the time frames you want, however you want to look at the charts. Go to the hourly, go to the daily, right? One year, one day. That means you're seeing one year of data and each candle represents one day, all right? So Apple on a Friday, looks like it was a little, little bit of a red day right there. And how I'm doing this is uh, how I'm using this little grid thingy or crosshair rather is you just click on the screen and then this left side will pop up and you click that little uh, crosshair thing and then you could just drag your finger and it'll show you you know prices and open open high low close the range the volume on each bar so that's a little neat tool um, and also for example, since I have a trade open, actually, this is good. Ooh, look at that. 
might might be a good trade coming into Sunday night. We'll see. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to see your trades um, on the screen, then you just go over here to this little eyeball. Same thing, right? You just click the screen. It'll pop up on the left. And then you could, you know, click positions and working orders, take them off. I like leaving them on. That's just me. Um, but yeah, what else can we get into? Um, so once you're in a position, all right. So once you're in a position, let's say, you know, you got the app figured out, you're in a position, um, or maybe first we'll go into trade. So how to trade on the app. Um, so pick a chart, any chart. We'll just use the S&P again. Um, and then the top right says trade. Now me, I like trading off the computer and I'll kind of just monitor my positions on here um on the app right if i leave this leave the desk or whatever um but this is how you can get in and out of trades um you go this is one way all right there's a couple different ways you could do it but one easy way um if you're looking at any you know asset click on it top right says trade click that and now this order editor pops up okay so order editor now, if I wanted to buy into ES, let's say I wanted to buy it right now at 3003. We can't buy it right now. The market's closed. This is just an example. Um, say we wanted to buy it right now at, at the market order, at, at whatever the market price is. Um, I would go right here to click buy, right? You click buy, and then you scroll around until you see the market, right? So market, that means I'm paying um, at the market price. So if the uh, market price is 3003 I'm getting in at 3003 all right? Now that changes very quickly, so you might not get filled at the exact price um, you want if you're doing a market order. So most of the times I'll do a limit order and I'll set it at whatever price I want. Let's say it's 3003 I'll just do that, um, type that in right here, 3003 even right and then quantity this just shows you how many contracts right um and yeah once you do that you click confirm at the top right um and then that will put in the order um that'll put in the order and you'll wait and see if you get filled um and then there's these conditions down here i don't really use those um what else what else what else but yeah that's how you pretty much get into a trade um, so let's say you know you got long um, and you're long at 3003 right and now you want to set your target um, you could do the OCO bracket orders and stuff um, if you want to just do it you know manually you would just go in here and set a, uh, a limit so let's say you bought at 3003 I want to get out at 3013 for example Right, so you do minus one. Um, you set a limit order, and once price gets up to three thousand thirteen, that order will take you out if you hit confirm and you actually put the sell limit out there. Right. On the other side, let's say you wanted a stop loss. Right. Let's say you're long one at three thousand three, and you want to put a stop loss at let's say three thousand. You know, you're giving this trade three points to work out. Um, you would do sell, stop, right? You do sell, stop, um, mark, right? So sell, stop at the market if it hits 3,000. That's how you would set that up because you're long one, and if price goes down to 3,000, um, you want to get out at the market price, 3,000. So that's how you do that. Um, and that'll take you out of the trade if the market comes down and hits 3,000 and you're long at 3,003. All right. So the same thing with, you know, shares and uh, everything. You just do the same thing. Click trade. Let's say you want to buy 100 shares at, you know, 350. There you go. Put in quantity, limit, and uh, the price, right? So let's say you wanted to buy them right now at the market. Um, you just simply do that and click confirm. And that'll send the order through and you'll get filled at whatever they give you. Um, I suggest doing limit orders if you're going to do big positions. Um, but, you know, you could get away with market orders most of the time. 
But uh, yeah, that's how you get in and out of trades on here. Um, and once you're in a trade, you go here and click this position tab. So you can see I'm in a few positions um, over the weekend. Um, but there's really not too much risk on besides this S&P trade. Um, that's probably the most risk I have exposure to at the moment. Um, but yeah, these are all options trades. So when you're in a trade, you'll see you know your P&L. Um, the market price and you could go in here and edit all of this stuff um, if you wanted to this is just how I use it um, but you'll see all your trades in one place and then it'll give you a little total at the bottom um, P&L for the day P&L open right and now you'll see your positions okay so for example DraftKings um, if you click it, it'll give you a little drop down and show you the, the trade that you're in. You could click it and then get some more info on it. Um, now, let's say, you know, you wanted to close out those three. I would just click it, click close, and then I would set my limit price for what I wanted to close it at. OK, so for these, I think I bought in these options. What was my trade price? Let's see. Trade price, 23 cents. You see that right there? 23 cents is what I bought in. Now they're up to 60, uh, 60 cents. So that means I'm up about 182% on those options right there. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, and I'm just going to let those run. So I'm not going to close anything out. But if you wanted to, you would just click close, close selected. And that's another way to get out of your trades. Same thing with the ES, I would click close, close selected, um, buy with limit, right? You buy with a limit um, because I'm short one. So that means I have to buy one back, right? Um, and yeah, that's the positions tab. Um, and if you wanted to see uh, your balances and everything down there, I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, you would just go in here to uh, balances and then click privacy mode off. All right. So I'm actually not going to show you that because you could, I don't know, don't have to show you that. <laughs> but that is how you would see, you know, your available dollars and equity and everything down there. Coming over to the next tab is the order tab. Um, you can see your working orders, your filled orders, your canceled orders, and all of your orders um, quickly in here. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And then alerts. You'll see all the active alerts um, that you can place. So how do you place alerts? So this is, alerts is just a price alert, okay? So let's say I wanted to know when uh, the S&P was breaking below 3,000. This works for everything, not just the S&P. You click it. You scroll down, this is the easy way to do it. You click it, scroll down, add alert, 3000. And now on the trigger, you're gonna wanna move it to um, less than the number, okay? So less than 3000. When the market price is below 3000, that's what this trigger is saying. If I did this one, it would say, let me know when it's greater than 3000, okay? So do that. Click create alert and boom, alert created below uh, when the last is below at or below 3000. OK, so that means when the last trade, um, whatever the last order was below 3000, I'll get an alert. So that's that. You can see I have quite a few alerts um, and that's just an easy way. You get a little ding on your phone when the price is breaking below or above whatever level you picked. So let's say. No, I'll go over here to Tesla. Let's say I want to know when Tesla is breaking above 1000, right? So I would do um, add alert, right? Add alert, type in 1000, and then it's already set um, automatically to above, right? So I don't have to change this trigger right here. Just above, um, at or equal to 1000, right? when last is at or above 1000 sorry that's what i meant so there's that if you want to cancel it click cancel i'll just leave it there why not um and yeah that is about it um and then if you want to trade some options all right so this is going to be the last thing 
that I'll leave on if you wanted to trade options on Tesla you would go right here you pick your Tesla right pick Tesla from your watch list or you could just type it up here um, oh, not working nice there we go you would click Tesla click and then it says chart news you'll get some news over there options profile um, I've actually never looked at this tab profile <laughs> but you go to options if you wanted to trade options okay so let's take a look um, make sure your strikes are set to all so that you could see you know all the strikes out there what's available um, and then spread if you're doing just naked options you would just do single um, naked options you just do single and now this will pop up the options chain so this is where you can see all the options and if you don't know about options then this is going to look really confusing um, but that's for a separate video we'll do like a basic options video I guess I'm going to have to now <laughs> but this is just how to navigate around the the uh, app okay so let's say you're trading Tesla options um, and we'll go just right here at the top ones these are the weeklies so today is June 28th um, and these are the weeklies for next week okay so these weeklies mean that uh, these July these expire July 2nd 2020 okay so options they put a price on time right there's time has a lot to do with options pricing so um, you can see how expensive these are the hundred calls <laughs> those are 800 bucks but um, th this is all the strike rates and everything um, strike prices and this is for July 2nd 2020 so these are the weeklies this is what you would be trading if you were let's say day trading Tesla on uh, this upcoming week um, but Tesla's premiums are very expensive so it's only for the big boys I don't suggest you trade naked options on Tesla unless you're very experienced but um, here we go this is what we're looking at so if you wanted to let's say trade the thousand calls let's say you think Tesla is going to a thousand this week um, or whatever and let's say you know you want to pick up the thousand calls you have your strike rate um, your strike price is a thousand you go up here and you're gonna see that these are the weeklies right these are the weeklies for July 2nd um, so these contracts will expire July 2nd of this week um, of 2020 I mean so you go over here let's say you wanted to pick up the thousand calls you would go over here on the ask um, click that and then it'll automatically pop up right here and you're familiar with this screen already from before now all you got to do is put in what you're willing to pay for these options so let's say you know you want to pay 13 bucks um, well if you bought 10 of these it's gonna cost you thirteen thousand dollars to get into these Tesla calls and these are saying um, you know let's say price breaks above te Tesla's price breaks above a thousand dollars this week um, and if these contracts expire I know we're getting a little into options here right now but this is saying you know um, you're able to buy a hundred shares of Tesla at a thousand dollars even if price goes to two thousand dollars let's say before Friday you'll this option is saying you have the right to own a thousand um, 100 shares of Tesla at a thousand dollars so that's why options premium go a little crazy um, because you know you if Tesla goes to a thousand I mean two thousand you want to buy shares of Tesla at a thousand no you would you not want that um, ability so that's that's just the basics of why um, options contracts get so expensive but we're getting too much into options right now this is just how you get into the trade um, so quantity you would switch it up there if you only want to trade one it'll cost you 1300 bucks because you're paying 13 dollars um 13 is your price per contract okay now that's that so that's that um this is how you would go in and trade an options contract we'll do it again let's say you want to buy uh apple 
let's say you wanted to buy some Apple contracts, you do the same thing, click Apple, um, go over to options, and then let's say we want the weeklies right here, um, same thing. We'll go ahead and pick, you know, let's say Apple is gonna go to 360 this week, you know, we found our whatever target we have, um, you know what options you're gonna buy, now here's how you buy them. You go to 360, on the left side you're gonna see the calls, um, and you would just go ahead and click boom go ahead and click 360 calls now you'll see the 360 call or order editor pop up and uh, yeah same thing if you want to buy one you switch that quantity to one and that's that if you wanted to get out of these um, you would do the same thing it'll pop up in your position thingy um, and you know, let's say I wanted to get out of these August um, AZN calls. Um, I would just click that, click sell, and then I would get out of 10 and put my uh, whatever I wanted to get out at. Um, or if you want to do market order and get out at, you know, whatever immediately. Um, if you immediately wanted to get out, you would do market minus 10. But with options, the the uh, the spreads are pretty crazy sometimes, so I don't suggest you use um, market orders on options um, unless you know you only have a couple contracts, one or two maybe. But even then, you might get filled at some wacky price, <laughs> which is uh, far from the market price. So I suggest using limits. Um, but yeah, if you're in a rush, need to get out now, 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 then do your damn market order. But that is pretty much it that's how you navigate around this app i hope i got everything if not let me know and i'll kind of make another video but that's pretty much all i use right so i'm just using the watch list looking at my stuff um and yeah if i'm getting into trades i showed you how to get into trades showed you how to get out of trades um show you how to look at your positions um, check your balances you know you do that and just click the click the line um, I mean you click that little thing over privacy mode I know you want to see my account so bad but it doesn't matter my account is not gonna help you um, and yeah that's that and uh, yeah if you want to get into the free discord chat that I uh, that I set up um, just click the link down below this YouTube video we're in there uh, every single day trading these markets you can ask me whatever you want um, there's a whole bunch of people in there we like helping each other out and yeah that's that now I'm getting some crazy texts but I'll see you guys in the discord go go uh, drop a like on this video if you want um, if you want more videos Drop a comment down below. Let me know what I could help you with. And uh, yeah, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks, people.